Welcome to the second episode. I um I started shooting this one before, but I really kind of made a mess of it because I wasn't able to find this here, which I was. This was the point of me shooting this episode. So I found a a spawner, which previously, surprise surprise, it killed me because it has zombies. Ah! Get out of there! Ah! No. Okay. Torches, torches, torches. I'm not going to destroy it. Not now, anyway. Just want the loot. Music disc. Oh, gunpowder, sweet. <laughs> That's the reason why I always go after creepers, because I want them to drop some gunpowder. And what's in this other chest? A name tag? Are they used for horses? I'm guessing that's probably what they're used for. And I need all the iron ingots I can get because somebody raided the chest in my house. So yes, I am... I need all the iron I can pick up at the moment because I have none left. So that was an interesting little hole there. I I don't know, I was just kind of expecting pumpkin seeds or watermelon seeds or what I usually pick up. Made a little upgrade on my house, got an automatic door. Just tired of zombies busting my other one down. This, uh, I actually I went online with Leftos and Jow and my shelter here became quite the hub when it came to night time. Like, it was the place where everybody, where those guys tend to hide out a fair bit. And as a result, my food supply is kind of down a little bit. But, um, you know, I'm a very accommodating person. I, uh, don't mind them staying in my little shit heap, as I called it. In fact, I made a little upgrade. Not only do I have one, but I have two, three places to sleep now. So, yes. If my house continues to be the the zombie shelter, I suppose, I should rename it to the zombie, the zombie shelter shit heap, or, I don't know, something along those lines, then I will... Yeah, I'm I'm accommodated for it. Why not? Now, what to do? I have no idea. I guess I'll show you around um, this environment a little bit more. Last time it was uh, it was pretty well like flat, but now you can see that. I have gone after a number of creepers because they seem to spawn a lot around here. There's always three or four floating around. It's my cows. So yes, divot, divot, divot. That whole thing about John resetting the map because we totally trashed the last one. I've totally trashed this one already. This one there. And uh, after he's actually been online with me for, we played for a few hours the other night, he's seen the reckless style that I apply to this game. And uh, that's the one I apply every game. That's the, I'm always the one, the melee guy who has the close distance weapons and just going absolutely charging at the enemy while the others are hiding in their sniper towers and using their stealth moves and stuff like that that's not me at all absolutely not I 
couldn't get into a game like Metal Gear Solid because oh, there was too much sneaking in it. And even a game like Arkham Asylum, where I, where you know you had to sneak a lot of the time, I very much enjoyed that game. But I enjoyed the spots where you had to pretty much fight melee style. So I'm a melee gamer. I wonder, I wonder if that shelter's still... There's... There's like random bits of wood floating up around in the air because there was a bit of a forest fire. Admittedly, I, I lit a section of it on fire, but I didn't do the whole thing. Like, I... I only had like I was only involved with like this little section here. Didn't uh I don't think my fire spread all the way through. So I wasn't completely responsible for this. Um We started building a shelter around here somewhere. Unless I've got the wrong forest. Started making one out of cobblestone. I think I'm starting to see it now. <laughs> Another thing I was doing that kind of annoyed John was um, building my uh, derp towers. It's this technique I do. I just hate climbing up these vines because... Because I try and I don't know how to. So instead of... Oh wait, I'm doing it quite successfully now. No. So instead of climbing the vines like a normal person would, I just I get like uh, blocks of whatever I had. It could be dirt, it could be cobblestone, it could be sand, and I just build a tower going straight up in the air, much to the amusement of Bloody hell, everyone around me, so... It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it, and I learned that it was a particular pet peeve of John. So it was, uh, it was very amusing seeing him react to my... to my noobish derp towers. I can't see it. Where? Well, I don't... I think there's a... There's going to be a video being released by John where we, um, where it shows us building it, but, um, unless I've got the wrong forest, I can't seem to see it anywhere. Or maybe I'm blind, who knows. Was that it up there? Oh, yes. Oh, there it is. Right up there. Uh, yes, some very there's lots of uh lots of wood up there just floating in midair so I better get back to my place before I'm absolutely destroyed by zombies again, and that's my alarm. I better go and get that. didn't anticipate being up this early, so I had my alarm set. Oh, hello. Lucky I came back when I did. Better get back to my place before he... You know what? Screw it. That's what John and left us were seeing pretty much the entire time I was online with him. Just me charging these guys and most of the time seeing them explode. Oh, get the gunpowder. Yes. Oh, two Endermen. Don't usually see two in one place.
Get in there. Put some of that stuff away. That's one pet peeve of mine in Minecraft. That you can't put all the bits of wood together if they're different types of wood. I think all of them should just be in one category. Yes, now I have enough gunpowder to make 20 to make four bits of dynamite. God, imagine me with 20. That would be chaotic. So let's see if I can kill two birds with one stone in this, uh, in this, uh, little episode here. I see one Enderman and one Creeper that I undoubtedly have to... Shit. Piss off, zombie. Piss off. See, I don't get it. I swing. I swing the sword like nobody's business and they still... They still get up in my grill and able to do damage to me. Hello. Where did you go? Where did you go? Is that the same one or is that his friend? <laughs> so if you guys are wondering why the Endermen are pissed off around here, this is probably why. I want the ender pearl. Don't mind me. Just putting some water at your feet. Uh, uh, no, I won't worry about him. Ah. Where, 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 where? Yeah, I don't mind if you explode now. Yes. Someone's probably saying, Kenny, leave those Endermen alone. No. They're elitist. Screw them. I can't look them in the eyes. You know, what's up with that? And yes, I was one of those people in Skyrim who went after giants as well. Whoa. Where did the Enderman go? Where, where, where? Uh, I don't have any food on me. Hmm. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, there you are. Ah, no, I think I... I think I screwed it. Yep. Fuck. I'll respawn. Give it another go. I think I know where he is. Oh, 
Yes, that's what I want to do. Whoa, shit. It's not like me to be running away from creepers, but... Pick it up. Oh, come on, creeper. Get... Whoa. Bloody hell. Ah. Stop it. Hey. Okay, I'll just leave that little puddle of water there. Don't explode around here. Not around my nice little garden. Ah. Spiders. Always the frickin' spiders. Okay. Oh man, he's got an enchanted arrow. How am I supposed to uh, compete against that? Ah. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and piss the Enderman off again in another episode. May as well end it here. Haha. -ha. See you in the next one.